Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you the ultimate texture for ceilings. Whether it's after repairs or a brand new drywall ceiling, this texture is applied by hand and you can do it. As you can see, this ceiling had some serious issues going on. After I repaired the tape joints and did a skim coat, it was time to apply the skip trial texture. But first, I want to show you how to mix the skip trial texture and everything you're going to need to do that. First, you're going to need some coarse sand. It's a 20-30 grit, a paint mixer, and a, either a cordless drill or a regular drill. I like to start with just a half a bucket of all-purpose joint compound and pour the about a cup of the sand in. Then you're gonna add just a little bit of water, probably a little less than a cup, and start mixing it up with your mixer. You can thin it more once you get going with it and see what you got. Basically, you just wanna bring all the sand to the bottom and back up and mix it thoroughly, probably for about two to three minutes. You're gonna want it a yogurt consistency to get a nice skip trial finish. Add a little more sand. I didn't pour it all in at once. Again, it's about a cup of 2030 sand. Added a little more water. Just want to mix all the sand up so you don't have any clumps or anything. This is super simple. Just need the right tools. All right, that's looking pretty good. I use a Hawk and a 12 inch stainless steel taping knife, but you can just do it out of a mud pan as well. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'm gonna give you some tips on priming and painting and also tell you all the tools you're gonna need to accomplish that and show you the final product when this ceiling's complete. All right, let's get skip troweling. Basically, you're just going to get a little on the tip of your knife, on the 12 inch knife, probably about 10 inches in the center, leaving about an inch on each end so it doesn't splat out the sides of your knife. And then you just want to apply a, a medium pressure and the sand is what's going to help make it skip and get this effect. You want to keep the, the knife pretty flat on the ceiling when you're pulling. And you can place the mud as needed if it's not grabbing quite right. I did not sand at all after the skim coat. I basically went, after it was dry, I basically went straight to the skip trial texture. That's the beautiful thing about skip trial texture is its hiding ability. And it's a good look. It looks a little busy maybe right now because of the different contrast it has with the white dried all-purpose joint compound that I used for skim coating. But once it dries, it's going to dry white like the rest of the ceiling. Uh, after that, you're going to want to prime it, of course, and then paint it. And like I said, I have all the tips at the end of this video, so stick around for that. Also, I'll put a link in the description to the entire playlist of this ceiling repair. This ceiling was cracking at all the tape joints. It only had two tape joints, but they were completely cracking, so I removed all the paper tape and used a fiberglass mesh tape and a quick setting joint compound to repair it. I'm also using some Warner work platforms, which you can just stack them end to end and you don't have to use stilts or a ladder but if you only have a ladder that's fine i've skipped trout from a ladder many many times and if you mess up or anything while you're attempting the skip trout texture you can just scrape it off while it's wet and try again 
This is a great entry level texture for uh, contractors, handyman, or even homeowners. Your texture will be unique to you. You don't have to worry about trying to match anything. It's going to match because you're doing it and it's the entire ceiling. I also have skip trying videos for new drywall. Um, after I've skim coated over a popcorn ceiling, I always try and do a skip trial texture because it just hides so good. I'll leave links to a lot of those videos in the description as well. What I do is I apply it in one direction and then I knock it down in another direction. Again, it's a great Mediterranean look. I've never had anyone not like the skip trial texture. I'm in Florida, so we have texture on everything. If you're gonna try and uh, have a ceiling and not sand it and get have a smooth finish, that's not gonna happen. That's the good thing about the skip trial. And it's better than the spray textures, like a knockdown texture, because you end up trying to pile it up to hide something, and then when you knock it down, it just uh, flattens out a lot different than the rest of the texture. So this, you can apply it, you can add a little bit in one spot, just by dabbing it and then knock it down and it blends beautifully. The sand I put in the uh, all purpose joint compound is a coarse 20, 30 grit sand. It's important to use that sand because if you try and use like a play sand from Lowe's or Home Depot, it's got a bunch of garbage in it and it's also a lot finer than this sand. So it's not going to give the skip effect the way this sand does. And depending where you are in the country, it's a regional thing, the name of texture. So a lot of people think a skip trial texture doesn't have sand because that's how it's done in their area. Here in the Southeast US, a skip trial texture has sand in it. All right, this ceiling took me, believe it or not, under 40 minutes to skip trial texture the entire ceiling. So not only is it a good look, it doesn't take a lot of time to get her done. The hiding ability is amazing. I'm gonna let this dry overnight and then I'm gonna caulk around the perimeter with a paintable caulk. And then I'll prime it with a latex primer called Kills 2, which will seal it up real nice. For the priming and painting, I'm using a three quarter inch lambskin roller. And I'm gonna do one coat of primer and two coats of, uh, I use a Richards paint and it's gonna be a flat, but you can also use an eggshell or satin, whatever your favorite sheen is, and paint is fine to use. Just make sure it's a good quality paint or it's just not gonna cover. And here's another tip. With white paint, get the white paint tinted white because it's translucent from the factory white. So I always get my white paints tinted white. That's a pro tip for you. I also like to roll out of a five gallon bucket with a paint grid. So things go a lot faster out of the five gallon bucket and more consistent than a paint pan. Let me know in the comments if you're a DIYer, painter, handyman, contractor, just kind of curious. I also had already cut in this ceiling before I rolled. I use a three inch purdy, just a straight purdy brush to do all my cut-ins. That's my preferred brush to use. And when you're getting the paint on, you just wanna get a nice consistent roll. You wanna be pretty liberal with your paint. You don't wanna try and stretch the paint out. You want a nice coat 
for two coats. If you watch this whole video, leave a hashtag drywall tube in the comments. Here's the finished ceiling. As you can see, there are no repairs visible whatsoever. Again, this ceiling was basically destroyed with uh, cracks going down the tape joints. I had to scrape back a bunch of the old texture, which was a skip trial as well. And then retape, remud, and then skim coat the entire ceiling. I did not sand before I applied the skip trial texture, which is a beautiful thing. I'll leave a link to this entire ceiling repair, skim coat, and skip trial texture video playlist in the YouTube card above now. And if you're new to the channel, my name's Paul and I've been a drywall and painting contractor for over 20 years. If you're looking to step up your drywall, texturing, or painting game, be sure to hit that subscribe button in the center of the screen now to keep up with all my latest videos. Look me up on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I'll leave links to some of my most popular videos down below in the description. Thanks so much for watching.